I'm Joe Albright, the Chief Operations Officer for Jackson Public Schools. And what I really want to let you know about today is um, all of the equipment, all of the disinfectants, the personal protective equipment, everything that's needed to keep our staff and especially our scholars safe is in the warehouse at this point. And as you can see behind me, uh, getting ready to be packaged and going out to our individual schools as what we call our starter kits. We are fully prepared for the start of school in January and we are excited about our scholars being able to be back in school in a safe, healthy environment. Hello, my name is Wanda Mabry and I am the supervisor at Central Warehouse with Jackson Public School. And today I would like to tell you about the PPE supplies that we have stocked here in Central Warehouse. Ready to supply the district with the essential needs that they're going to need to start school as the students return. We have the stands that they will need to um, come back into the building, the touchless hand stands for the sanitizer. It's a foam hand stand that you just put your hand under. We have the gallon sanitizer foam, the machines, two per building, and more on order. We also have the masks for the children as well as the masks for the adult, and these are the washable cloth masks. These are the washable adult masks. They are washable. They can be reused. These are the youth masks for the children, and they come 10 per pack. And we also have the disposable mask. So we are equipped with masks for children and adults. Our custodians are trained in the use of all of this equipment and all of these disinfecting products. As a matter of fact, um, they are in a continuous training mode to make sure that the newer products are brought to them to keep them safe as they keep our staff and scholars safe. And this is a disinfectant that the custodians will clean the buildings. It's designed to make sure that every building is clean. This is a Nutri by Buckeye and Nutri disinfectant, S23. It has been approved by the EPA. One drop, shake and mix. So we are equipped to clean our buildings, make sure that every day the custodians have cleaning supplies. You have your pine saw, you have your bleach, you have your cloths to clean with, you have your gloves. They are equipped to clean the buildings on a daily basis. One of the new pieces of equipment that we are especially proud that we were able to bring into Jackson Public Schools is the electrostatic fogger. This particular piece of equipment provides fine particulate aerosolized that coats the surfaces of desks, chairs, floors, we use it on our buses to disinfect. It certainly speeds up the process, but at the same time, we can use disinfectants that are much more effective than the standard bleach and soap and water so that we can provide an even safer environment. We use these to do our high touch point disinfecting throughout the day and then our disinfecting at the end of the day as well. We have these in sufficient quantities that each school has these and we have a number for our bus service personnel so that they can disinfect as we make rounds on the buses. I have had my solution mixed at Neutral 23 with a uh, quart bottle of water. I'm going to pour my solution in my electric fogger. Well, I'm going to ready and do a demonstration and, and, and disinfect the classroom. Our custodians are trained in the use of all of this equipment and all of these disinfecting products. As a matter of fact, um, they are in a continuous training mode to make sure that the newer products are brought to them to keep them safe as they keep our staff and scholars safe. I'm going to spray it at a 45 degree angle. But once you spray everything down that the hand could touch in the classroom, you let it sit for about 10 minutes and then you come back with a clean rag or cloth and wipe everything down. We pretty much try to do it every hour or, or, or every class change. I sprayed the restrooms down, everything that the hand can touch. And that's what you want to concentrate on. It's very effective. And so it doesn't take a whole lot. We have to spray hallways, walls, and we pretty much try to spray our hallways every hour. Our main goal 
at Jackson Public School is with the pandemic going on as a head custodian, we want everyone to be safe, the students to be safe, you know, faculty and staff to be safe, as well as the custodian. And our job is, we on the front line, our job is to make sure that the facilities are safe and clean. And we have our different type gloves. We have the uh, nitro gloves, and we also have uh, the black gloves, which are just a little bit heavy duty. And this is the Perel sanitizer, which is also a refill bottle, which you can refill the eight ounce bottles with this. Making sure that we have a safe, secure, healthy learning environment for our scholars. That is our primary concern at this time, as I know it is yours. Um, and we are doing absolutely everything possible to make sure that we maintain that from the start of school all the way through graduation. We have our digital thermometers. We are equipped to put them in every school, and they're the no-contact thermometers. Hand sanitizer in the individual personalized size, the eight-ounce bottles uh, to, designed to put on the teacher's desk if they need them. And we have our face shields designed for our youth so that the teachers can see their faces as they talk. Okay, and we also have the pine salt and the bleach, Clorox, the Dow liquid hand soap, the sun pine and the pine salt to use in tissue, paper towels. We are prepared to, for our children to enter the buildings in a clean environment. I want to assure you that the supplies are here. We're continuously reordering and increasing our supplies. There won't be shortages here. We will continue to do everything possible to make sure that we keep our students and staff safe. Thank you.